Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful day to begin my um, work with today. Hi guys, it's um, Friday, end of the week, currently just um, after 11 a.m. Been watching um, the presidential game on TV this morning and uh, looks like it's never ending. But today we're going to be doing something even greater than any president has ever done in history and that is we're going to plant some uh, organic food for us to uh, enjoy over summer. There's so many things I want to show you now that um, it's coming to the end of spring. That's why I'm making so many videos, guys. It seems like um, I've lost the plot. <laughs> but there's just a lot of activity going on. There's just so much going on here that one video or two videos or three videos can't um, accurately depict. It's just amazing. So that's why I, I strongly uh, advise, recommend that people start growing their own fruit and vegetables, whatever you, you prefer. I prefer fruit so that you can uh, reap. Not only food. This is not only about the food. It's also about um, physical and mental well-being. These are the, um, the trees that I have to choose from in the new area where the hedge was. I've been talking to a new friend whom I just met this week. Life in Florida, nice to meet you. Um, we were having a discussion about what to plant. Well, I've got all these to choose from and I have all these to choose from. So. There's a lot of choices and there's also another dozen trees on their way from um, the nursery which I ordered. So this is the area we're talking about. I haven't cleared it yet, it's still messy. Have to clear it. But um, it's a nice big patch. I was going to put a greenhouse here but I'm not sure yet guys. It's going to cost a lot of money to put a greenhouse. And when I say greenhouse, I'm not talking about a plastic roll-up, fold-up. I'm talking about concrete, foundations, doing it right. So we're talking thousands. So I don't know if I'm ready for that. Or we'll just simply pl um, plant the trees I showed you, which I have already paid for. And it's um, a matter of just putting in the ground. So I went out and got all the soil I need for what I'm about to do today, as you can see from the big box store, lots of um, compost. So let's get started guys, let's get moving. I've also got um, sugar cane, which I'm gonna be using to uh, go with the, um, the soil. I really don't enjoy um, vegetable gardening as much as I do fruit gardening. See the figs here? And the guava? And the uh, tangelo? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. But I do what I gotta do, right? It's only a short season. If I had to do this all year, it would be dreaded. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be fun. Um, as you can see, I've left it, let it go so long that the cucumbers are already uh, fruiting. And the um, tomatoes are already, where is it, flowering. Way too long, way too long. And the zucchini is already zucchiniing. <laughs> it's already flowering also. And look, premature fruit. It's, they're not going to make it. So, yeah, just got to do what you got to do. Oh well, let's get to work. We had our dynamite breakfast to give us dynamite energy and get this um, on the road. So the, um, the mulch is there, the uh, 
compost is there the um, chicken manure is there but first we're gonna have to clear take out these uh, greens silver beet chard and then uh, prepare the uh, the ground for the mulch what I'm gonna do is a no dig method no dig can you dig it yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing guys it's not much area but I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much as I can for some people this is a lot of area people without you know big backyards like like I have Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, the mandarin tree got uh, butchered, as some of you know, who's been following my channel. And uh, that's why I'm planting the veggies today. Finally done. Been meaning to do this for the last uh, whew, month. During the month of October. I'm a little behind with... Uh, jobs especially the uh the veggie patch because i've been doing other stuff and i don't even have children so kudos to you uh fruit um lovers out there who have children and day jobs this is my day job except i don't get paid yeah this is my day job guys but i have no children well <laughs> again these are my children this is my day job and these are my children so I'm about two weeks two or three weeks behind maybe a month behind depends what we're talking about all right so let's get the first um, part done so I mix the um, compost and the uh, manure In a wheelbarrow so it's like um, two bags of compost and half a bag of manure and this is all broken down of course nothing is gonna burn my veggies well um, broken down and um, ready to plant in now this is a unorthodox Unorthodox means non-traditional method of um, doing vegetable gardening and uh, that's my middle name by the way unorthodox so you, you probably know that already some of you do anyway so I've got um, six spots here to plant the um, veggies I'm gonna start with um, zucchini First, I laid um, the straw on the on the, um, on the um, ground, which was like that. See all those weeds? See all that? I'm not going to sit there and till that. I'm against tilling, by the way. I used to do that for like 15, 16 years. In the last uh, four years, I've been doing no dig. Tilling is in my um, past. No more. It's just too much work. And um, they say that it's not good for the soil. Hmm, I don't know about that, but that's what some experts say. So I've been doing the um, the no, no dig method using, well, they put cardboard underneath. I didn't do that. I just put the um, straw. And uh, the reason I didn't use cardboard is because I want the, the zucchini to penetrate. And it can't penetrate um, cardboard this thick, right? So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I've got eight seedlings and only six spots so I'm gonna have to put the two leftovers in two of the um, six um, spaces and here they are right zucchini 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 do you know what they call zucchini in the UK ah uh, they use um, another word Ah, they use the French courgette courgette all right guys so as I said there's eight zucchinis and six spots so let's start putting in 
So what I do is, right? What I do is dig, 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 and go down with a straw. Reed. See the straw? And I, oh, oh, see how tough the soil is? Very tough. Oh, so gonna have to put that back there like this, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So it doesn't collapse into the center and find there it is there's the original soil oops I got pricked by the straw there it is puncture it's called puncturing oh oh man that stuff oh. it hasn't been dug for I don't know how long maybe a couple of years oh I think I did last year I planted something corn I think yeah I did corn here last year so a year and there's some stones in there too mm. let's see oh it's pretty soft yeah so that's it that's nice that's good that's becoming like bread dough soft break it up break it up Break it up. Native soil. Break it up. Use your hands. Don't be afraid of getting dirty. Wear gloves. If you're a sook as well. <laughs> I never wear gloves, guys, in 20 years. 20 years, I've never worn gloves. But that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. If you have an office job, if you work as a secretary, a, a pencil pusher, a pen pusher, that's fine. You've got to look nice. Your nails have got to be... In place for the office for the boss oops mosquito oops okay so now he's gonna sit like that see that oh so let me pull him out and I'll show you how it went wow talk about root bound not root rot but root bound told you I'm about two weeks behind they should have gone in um, early to mid October I'm about two or three weeks late. It's all right. We can do it. We can do it. We shall do it. And just like with uh, fruit trees, you're meant to tease the roots gently. See how I tease them? I loosen them before you put it in the hole. That's a very good idea. Actually, it's a must. So once you drop it into that little hole where the soil has been dug, the native soil, you push back all the um, compost like that and then you push in, push in, push in, nice and firm, push in the new soil around it and the job is complete guys. Just got to water it now. And I'm going to do all the others in exactly the same way. Stay tuned. And we are done. Okay, that took me about 20 minutes. And another 20 minutes to prepare everything at the beginning. So 40 minutes, guys, to uh, get the, the ball rolling. Next, I have to plant all these tomatoes. Uh-huh. I'm starting to get tired already. Not a good sign, huh? <laughs> well, that's why you pick a nice, cool day. I'm not tired. It's just my, my joints. The joints. The achy, wakey, um, 50s joints. When you're over 50 or over 40, depends on your body type, I guess. 40, 50, whatever. Um, joints start to respond in ways they never used to respond when you're in your 20s and 30s. So, just the first um, joint signs. Here comes, uh, who's that? 
that looks like fire hmm. that was the fire um, department with their chopper so guys <clears throat> we're gonna make another round of um, mix soil mix for the tomatoes tomatoes they go in there that one's done over there so let's get started all right now I'm ready to um, get the tomatoes put in there and there it is Whew, one to spare I'm thinking of um, planting in the middle you're not meant to you're meant to space them out this is a perfect um, um, spacing but uh, I want to cram them in and put four more in the middle because I bought them right <clears throat> not enough room over here to put the, uh, I got nine of the um, big fat tomatoes and nine of the little cherry tomatoes and I don't think I can fit nine here because I left two silver beets behind because they're doing so well I don't want to have to pull these guys out right and uh, I could put them in pots but they'll wilt and soak for a month so um, yeah so I'll put eight there with one to spare I can put eight here with one to spare um, see then I would be able to get in here too and harvest if I left this room in here see this nice huh nice corridor a nice um, hallway as you call it yeah guys all these questions they don't teach us these things at school you teach yourself everything in life you teach yourself even though it's been done before no one did it for you or if they did you were looking the other way so hmm which way shall I go I'm tempted to do eight and eight yeah I'll do that I'll leave the space in the middle all right I'm gonna stop the video here guys because pretty much um, the end of the video will be the same as the beginning of the video in other words I think you guys get the idea of what I'm doing um, zucchinis and tomatoes in this bed and uh, the cucumbers I'm gonna put in pots and uh, We'll see where I'll put the rest. I've got I've got taro. Let me show you. Look how good the um, American pawpaw is doing. Amazing, huh? Looks like a <laughs> looks like a um, sugar apple, doesn't it? Wow, you can grow sugar apples in um, in the snow. Who would have thought? So guys, um, I've got these collard greens in pots and I've got these two um, Japanese taro in pots. They have to go somewhere too, right? So I've got those to put. The cucumbers, which I'm going to put in pots. A passion fruit. Yep, another passion fruit. Yeah, sweetheart. This is the um, trademark one that you can't propagate. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Longevity spinach or Okinawa spinach has many names. And um, backup tomatoes for a late crop. If those ones either fail or... Um, oh, gee, I've got a wasp on me. Let's see one. Is that a wasp? No. Yes. Let's see, let's see one. Anyway, um, yeah, back up tomatoes, and then we're done with all the veggies. This is where I normally put the cucumbers in these pots. They're self-watering pots, right? 
that hold water, reservoir. And I uh, had them here last year, you can see. Last year's label is still there. And they did well, they did quite well. And they climb up this um, wire where I have another passion fruit, which hasn't done much at all. This is like my fourth passion fruit. Okay guys, so I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. The so-called no dig method. Um, I didn't do it the whole way because of the I didn't use cardboard. But um, pretty much 90% no dig. Anyway, we'll um, be doing a lot of updates on these veggies over um, summer. Please like and uh, share. And uh, we'll see you from the next video, guys. Oh, did I tell you I had grapes growing above them? Yeah, grapes. Forgot to mention. So much going on. Oh, I need a, a long list of things in my head. Anyway, see you guys.